Here we go with a morning wrestling camp. And uh, look at my little tiny T boy. He's good. Oh, we don't want to. Um, he knows he's smaller, but I tell you what, this little big guy, Lotus, is the biggest angel of the bunch. He's, he's a big chunk, but he's still only four, a little over four pounds, which at four weeks is just right on par. But the rest of them, I think, are smaller, just probably smaller than a lot of my litters. But every one of my litters has ended up a nice moderate size, which I'm very grateful for. And I'd be shocked if Daisy's weren't, given that she's so small. But look at this guy go. But... He is an angel, I tell you, he's just very independent, and I wake, sometimes I'll look at the can, the camera's up there in the middle of the night, and he'll just be wandering around, wagging his tail, he kind of is like the quiet leader, but he doesn't fight, like, as much, and they, this it was like Gulliver and the little lily pushins, because this morning he was just lying on his back, and about three of them were, like, going at him, and he wasn't even really making any big deal. But a lot, this is just all play stuff. But Staffords, can, they do play fight hard. And that really scared me when I first bred. Like one of the Shaq's litters were always more mellow. But as soon as we got the Willow and Asher litter um, from Sammy, from there, I don't know if it was the Spanish dog that influenced and added the more spiciness, but it was scaring me for a while, and I had to separate Asher and Willow's litter. There was six of them, but I got too nervous that they were going to be an issue, but uh, anyway, it ended up being totally fine. I think it's just me needing to be more calm about things and knowing that they're just playing hard, but anyway, like I said, I don't like to make sweeping generalizations about personalities because, for one, there is always a genetic tendency but it always can be formed and molded and we like to have everybody leave super consistent and that's been the case for us all our dogs have been so far thank god just so great with other dogs and so many things you know they're going to be good with people but the other thing I want to talk about is um, I don't like to say it because then people will be like oh we want that one but uh, all my puppy people have been amazingly cool and they know that we find them the very best placements um, but look at this you guys can see they're even changing within a couple days um, but the look my tiny Tinko at it that guy's a little but the thing is is like if I had to make statements like Sonny over there is super mellow and he investigates all the new toys for He's with the, and again, my big blue guy, Lotus is real mellow. Clover's just right about with him. Bebe's a scrapper, but uh, she's hilarious. There she is. And then uh, Honey's a little more fiery goldy, and Sunny might be the most mellow. Kazi's pretty mellow too. But again, these are all things that can change, and uh, we watch, and so far everybody seems pretty consistent. But watch this, you guys, watch. What's this? That is one of my big hit toys. It's a little purr cat toy. I have three of them, but one of them stopped working and I got them for a couple litters ago and they're just the best because look at them, they love them. When they hear the noise and dogs hearing takes a while to fully open, like a whole month even, I think, but they can obviously hear and they hear uh, pretty good now, but uh, they'll hear better. <laughs> That's baby. Look at her, baby. Girls, I tell you, everyone always thinks they want a girl because they're easier. In my experience, just to talk a little bit about that right here, again, I find I'm a, I am prefer boy dogs in general. Like boy Dobermans are just so much more mellow, but I've always equally adored and loved my girl Dobermans and my girl Staffords. There's really, turns out to be very little difference in the long run, but... If I had to say, I think the males are much quicker to amp up the energy, like you have to manage the arousal a little more when something happens. That said, they're very obedient and loving, and I would say in general have less prey drive than the females. That's what I've experienced across the board with Staffords. Um, like my females will run after the squirrel, the males will go after squirrels too, and Asher loves them, as you can see in his video. But the real racing after things and all of that, I see happen a lot more with the girls. Like, I don't even know if my males would like to do fast cat, and I don't really like them too because I feel more dense bodied dogs. You got to be cautious because um, it's such a uh, such a fast path, pace, and everything. You, the females, but. Uh, yeah, so the males are, I think, tend to be a little more, and they're very like some other person I know that has Stafford's 
talked about that, how those males just, they just want to be right in your lap every second. So it's like really ironic that they have the hot quick to arouse, like someone was saying maybe the cone was bothering Ash or Shaq. No, that doesn't bother him at all. But if he sees a deer and we're walking, he'll try to discharge his energy on the other dogs. And usually dogs are okay with it, but Daisy hasn't been. That's why they've had a couple of issues. Hi, baby Lotus, you precious angel. And there's my tiny T. He doesn't take crap, do you, T? And then look at all these guys. Uh, I so precious. Right here, Sonny. Over there, they got little Clover and Lotus again. Look at the girls ganging up on him. See what I mean? But anyway, uh, let me do this again for everybody. Watch this. Oh, they hear it. Every time they hear it. And I can give them a little... Um, Shaq is in there barking right now. Um, she never tires. And then I can give them... The, I got the plastic water bottle, and they kind of saw it for a minute. I don't think they knew how much noise. These guys are being amazing. You guys are going to have fully housebroken uh, puppies. By the time you get them, you might have one or two accidents. That's what's been the case with all our litters. Some have had no accidents. In fact, I'd say almost the majority have had none to one or two. Um, and nobody's had a difficulty. But these guys seem to be going even earlier with uh, uh, using those papers. Oh, there goes like little Clover. He can fire up, but Kazi's pretty mellow too. Clover, knock it. And if they get too tough, I will stop them because I don't like it. Um, Shaggy, she finally laid down. All right, I'm going to turn off this video in a minute, but I know everyone's appreciating the videos. And I mean, if I'm coming in here just to give them a lot of love and anyway, I may as well do a quick video for everybody. It ends up being a really great little chronicle. People love to watch and so many people tell me their puppies watch the videos after when they're in their new home and uh, they, a lot of times like uh, they call it Asher TV and I'll watch all the um, videos of the puppies. I gotta go tell Shaq to be quiet because she's driving me crazy. Shaq shut it but she can't even hear me so I have to go because she's gonna be 14 in a month and um, right now like I say she had that little weird thing with her paw so I'm working on that too. Oh baby looking for trouble look at her go. All right, guys, I'm going to turn it off. Look at my clover. Just need some cuddling. I'll get you some. Or is that clovey or lotus? I think that's, I think that's clover, yeah. Oops, look it right there. I got to go get it.